publicly agreed without any sense of um, trying to to hold his his captors responsible for his his experience and seemingly letting what is be and moving on to be uh, what seems to be a remarkable human. And that is, that is one individual I can relate to. I mean, I don't know him personally, um, but I could relate to that. And I didn't know the story about the pyramids, but I'm not surprised because deep down, the, the exploits of the Egyptians would have shown some amount of awareness, if, if only to determine how they would have built those pyramids over years, over time. Yes, and uh, I mean, look at what's happening right now. I mean, it it took him thirty years to finally have the courage. It's really about courage to actually stand up and do something about what is no longer acceptable. Yes. Now, I grew up in a communist country. You know, I'm from Europe. Right. And it also, I mean, it didn't take me 30 years, but it took me four or five years from the time I was 12 years old to realize that <clears throat> living in a communist country is not the, in the best and highest interest of who I am. So I had to go. I had to escape. <coughs> Excuse me. And that takes courage. You know, not to pat myself on the back, but that's what it takes. You, I had to le leave everybody that I love behind in order to be true and authentic to myself and who I am. Does that make sense? Well, it does make sense. But th there's, a, there's a point I ponder in, in as we go through life and, and, and you with your level of, of, of awareness, your, your, the, the, the level of awakening that you have achieved so far, I, I ask myself, is it fair that some people just have this opportunity or they make use of it? If we are, in essence, if, if, if eternal beings, and we are, we are now enveloped by this body that is temporary, but is part of our experience as we evolve. Why is it that some people get it faster than others? Well, I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very deep question. I, I think it has to do with... It has to do with... Not just our DNA, but it has to do with our history and everybody before us and their experiences. And, and I think if, if you think about the human body, I mean, oh my God, even after all the technology we have created so far, we still don't understand completely how the human body works. Right. It's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, whoever created us, <laughs> and I don't care if you call it God or whatever you want to call it, makes no difference. We know for sure that we didn't create us, right? We don't have the technology today to create us. Would you agree? I agree. I mean, that's 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 uh, that's a simple answer. You're right. That's I mean. a simple answer. <laughs> so somebody has. So, but but if it's that simple, Ulrich, why is it that people take their bodies? and how they are designed for granted. It's almost like everything that our body does is is so aligned. You know, all of our organs and glands and everything that how we become a human being is is you're an engineer, so you, you know what I'm talking about. It's so precise. Everything works so perfectly. And even when we as human beings 
because what I described to you earlier and to the viewers is the key to personal power well guess what when you view the world but then you don't feel the world 